Today we're going to learn an easy way to fill text with images here in Photoshop. So let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWellCreative.com and on this channel we love to talk about photography, photo editing, and all of that good stuff. So if that sounds like something that you would be into, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Now in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you a super easy and fast way to fill any text with an image here in Photoshop. Rather than using any complicated selections or fancy adjustments, all you need to do is add a clipping mask and you're pretty much good to go. So let's hop into Photoshop and see how this all works. So once you're in Photoshop, obviously the first thing that you need to do is create a new piece of text. So you can do that by grabbing your text tool by pressing T or finding it here in your toolbar. To add a piece of text, all you have to do is click on your canvas and type in what you want. For this example, I'm just gonna write calm because that's how the forest makes me feel. If your text is a different font, color, or size, you can adjust all of that stuff up here by highlighting it like so, and then you can change the size accordingly if you would wish. You can change the color if you would like. However, that's not gonna matter because we're filling it with an image. And then you can also change the font to whatever you'd like. Now the text that I'm using today is called Couture Bold, and I really like this text for this effect just because it is nice and thick and you can see a lot of the image through the text when you're done. So if you're picking a text, I definitely suggest choosing a nice bold one if you can. From there, I'll grab my move tool by pressing V and I can now reposition that text wherever I would like, including scaling it up or down if need be. I wanna basically have this text reach from one side of my canvas to the other. So something like this is pretty good for me. Now, if you wanna further adjust your text with your text layer selected, you can open your characters panel. And if you don't see this, you can go up here to window and down here to character to access the same panel. But within here, you have all of the same options as your setting bar, except a little bit more. So you have your obviously fonts right here, your text size. This option here is the spacing between your lines. This will change the space between each letter. So if you wanna space everything out, you can increase this value or you can bring it down to squish things together, whatever you're into. In this case, I want all my letters to maybe just slightly touch so it all kind of looks like one big thing and it might look cool with the image for the final result. And then you can even stretch your text up or down with this option as well. Same with horizontally, stretching it that way if need be. I'm gonna set those values back to 100. And now I'm pretty happy with how my text is looking. I might scale it up just a little bit more with the help of my move tool. Now with all that selected, I'm happy with what's going on. I'll click the checkbox at the top of my screen. And now we can start to create our image text fill effect. Now the first thing we have to do is create a color to be around our text. So we'll do that by clicking on our background layer and then going up to layer down here to new fill layer and then solid color. I'll just leave this set to color fill one, click okay. And now you can pick a color that you would like to fill around your text for this example. In this case, I just wanna pick a nice white color. It's simple, gets the job done for me. Now from here, it's time to add the image into our text. And the easiest way to do that is by duplicating our background layer by pressing command or control J. The background layer in this case is my image. And I'm gonna drag that up to the top of my layer stack so it's directly above my text layer. Making sure that that's directly above that layer, I'll right click on my image and go to create clipping mask. That's going to apply the image so it only is visible within the confines of my text. And now with that, I have filled my text with an image and it's really as simple as that. From here, I can grab my move tool and I can reposition that image wherever I would like. And I can also continue to edit the text without affecting the photo. So clicking on that text layer, I can go back to my characters panel and I can stretch things back out if need be or make any other adjustments that you see fit for your text. Since they're on two different layers, you can edit them individually still. However, with the clipping mask, the image becomes locked to the confines of your text. So that's the beauty of using a clipping mask. Now that everything's repositioned, I'm happy with the result here and my effect is complete. If you would like to change the background color of the text, all you have to do is double click on the color fill layer here and you can change that to whatever you would like. And that just gives you the option to further customize the look of your photo later on. If you decide you're not happy with the regular white or black background, the color fill layer makes life very easy to change everything around. Now, if you wanna add further effects to your text, such as a drop shadow or a stroke or something like that, you can still do that even after your image is applied to your text. All you have to do is double click on your text layer to open the layer style dialog box. And in here, you have a whole bunch of options to choose from. In this case, let's start with the drop shadow. So I'll click the drop shadow to select that. And now we can go through all of my settings to adjust how my shadow looks. So I'm gonna make sure the color is set to black because that's obviously the color of a shadow. 
and I'll make sure the opacity is 100% so it's nice and visible, and then I can adjust the spread, size, and distance to change how that shadow looks behind my text, and of course the angle to change where that shadow is positioned in relation to my text. Now the next thing I'd like to add is a stroke or an outline to my text, so I'll just click the stroke option here. I'm gonna set the position to inside so it's affecting the inner part of my text and not the outside. I just think that this looks a little bit better when you are using image filled text. And then from there you can adjust the size accordingly and then also change the color to whatever you would like as well. Once you're all happy with that, click OK. And now you have all your effects right here listed underneath your text layer that can be easily accessed later on just by double clicking on one of those options like so. And now you have a piece of text filled with an image with some extra adjustments to make it look a little bit fancier. So with that, you've now learned how to fill text with images here in Photoshop, and it's as easy as adding a clipping mask. So if you enjoyed today's tutorial and you learned something, then make sure to hit that like button as it really does make a difference. And also consider subscribing to stay up to date with more tutorials just like today. Anyways, guys, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com, and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.